Hey, hi everyone. Uh, I welcome you all to this session. My name is Sumit and today we are going to discuss one very important question related to Selenium WebDriver with Java. So the question is that if you see here on my screen, like I want to download the one PDF file to a specific location without clicking the download button. Okay. So first I will do it manually that what we are trying to achieve. So this is our website. Okay. So this is one URL I found. So if I click this button, you see one windows based pop up will open. Okay. So this cannot be automated by Selenium. So what you can do, you just uh, click on documents and save this file and it will save the file. Okay. So th this step is fine manually, but how we can achieve it using Selenium. Okay. So make sure that you understand that it is a windows based pop up. Okay. So what will happen is that uh, you can use one tool. Okay. What is the tool name? So let me show you once like auto it. Okay. So basically this is one third party tool. Okay. It is a third party tool which will allow you to automate the windows based pop-up. Okay. So basically what you will do like you can use auto it to handle this and download the file. So th this step is also fine. Okay. But the problem here is that suppose you are running your test cases in Jenkins. Okay. Or you can say docker you are using. Okay. So not on extent, not on a local machine, you are using Jenkins to run your test case. So what will happen uh, if you use these kind of third party tools, chances are that it, it will fail. Okay. So most of the times you can see that intermittent failure. You will see if you use that auto IT tool or other tool to automate this kind of pop-up. So now the question is that uh, is there any tool or you can say is there any utility provided by the Selenium itself to download this file? and save it to the some particular directory. So answer is yes. Okay. So in this lecture, we will see how we can achieve it. Okay. So for that, uh, I have one class. Okay. So this is my package and this is my class name PDF download. So inside my main method, let me first uh, create one Chrome driver object so I can run my Chrome browser. So also I'm using the latest Selenium version if I show you. Okay. So which version I'm using? It's a, uh, I guess I'm using, yeah. So this one I'm using 4.11. Okay. So th that is the reason I am not writing system.set property. So S Selenium will handle it automatically. So I'm not writing this one. Okay. So instead of this one, I will directly write web driver driver equals to new Chrome driver. So if I write it like this. So I am creating the object of Chrome driver and after that I will launch the URL. So in the latest Selenium version, you don't need to write system.set property and set the exe path. So just what is the path? Uh, so if you see this, this is the URL I am trying to hit. So okay, not this one. Uh, yeah, this one. Yeah. So let me copy this entire path, entire URL and paste it here. So if I run till this part, let us see what is the, okay. So import this Chrome driver. Now try to run it. So basically it will simply open the, that page, which I am sh showed you last. Okay. So what is the page? So this is the page. Okay. So our next step is not to click on this. Okay. Because if I, even if I click on this, right, Selenium will click on this, but the problem is that it is a windows based pop-up. Okay. So what we can do so there is one utility so or you can say it's the class okay so there is one class which is chrome options so this chrome options will give you the way you can handle it okay so let me create the object of chrome options class first okay so this is my chrome options class so s will come here and import the package okay so this is the package and after that, I will also create one hash map. Okay. So I will tell you why we are creating. So let me create one hash map. So hash map of, uh, I want to create string comma object. Okay. So string is this and object. So let me give some name like Chrome options. So you can give any name Chrome options map. Okay. Equals to new equals to new hash map. So after that, so let me create it. 
object okay so this is the hash map i created okay so basically what we we will do with the hash map we will enter some key and value pair so let me give it correct name okay so to achieve the same what we can do uh, so this is my chrome options map so this is the name so let me copy this name and just i will say set sorry i will say dot put okay so it it is expecting one key and one value pair so what are those keys i will tell you in a short while so basically we need to set one thing and this thing and this thing so let me copy the key name okay so i already have it here so let me tell you what these things are doing so if i write it here just for okay so if i start from here download default directory so basically i need to define to which directory i need to download this okay so for that i will say this is the this is my key key okay and what is the value so suppose i need to download to this path so i will copy this and uh, if i copy this the path and paste it here okay so what we can do in double quotes we need to in double quotes we need to provide the path okay so i am telling selenium that once you download the file put it here put it onto this directory okay so this is what we are telling and what is this one so plugins dot always open pdf externally so if i copy this so this is my key and i will make it true okay so this is what i am trying to say that uh, what this will do basically uh, if you see this okay basically this first line this one will go going to block this okay as soon as you will hit this the file will download okay this page will not open so that's why i am setting it to true okay and after that what need what we need to do uh, basically we need to uh, paste it here okay okay no not after this so i will copy this variable option and there from this variable from this object reference i will call one method which is set experimental option okay and here you need to pass one key okay the key name is prefs preference we can say okay so make sure you will give the same name okay you cannot change this okay it, it is predefined you need to pass prefs as the key and here you need to pass your object of this like this okay so just paste it here so save it okay so after that what will happen um, once you will run this okay you define that uh, this pop up will not come not pop up actually uh, this page will not load and it will download the file and after that i am setting the download default directory so let me try to run it and see whether our code is working correct or not okay so let us see how it will work so you see okay so this time our code do doesn't work and no file is downloaded I, let me see why uh, if i yeah okay so basically i did a mistake so if i copy this okay when whenever you are using option you need to pass this option variable in the constructor okay so now i passed it here now this driver have the knowledge of all this okay so that is the reason our code was not working because i not provided the path not provided the variable actually so now if i run this uh, you can see it should work okay so if you see this earlier whenever i was hitting the url uh, that website was coming but now it downloaded the file and if you see this so this is the path i give right this is my project path uh, so let me refresh it uh, if i refresh it so you will see this okay so this is how you can do it okay so even in the jenkins if you run it code will be very very less okay so this is how basically you can download the pdf file without uh, needing to click on the download button so thanks for watching see you in the next video take care